Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are doing MAC lipstick dupes. I thought that would be like a great finale to Drugstore Week, which will happen again and again. Thank you guys so much for giving all the thumbs ups on yesterday's video. I, I love that. I love that you guys love Drugstore as much as I do, but of course I am always going to give an even mix. So I think I do want to do Luxury Week actually. Let's just start off this video totally rambly. I have five, oh, hi. I have five. <laughs> I have five dupes for you guys. Now these are across the board as far as color is concerned. I have been on like a big mission with the whole dupes thing to actually find ones that I feel are texture appropriate, are quality appropriate, and are color appropriate. Um, let's just hop right in. I have all of these pretty lipsticks in front of me ready to be swatched. And let's go with the darker shades first. I want to share with you guys that when I'm doing these videos, I don't always just pick from my collection. I actually do the research and go out and purchase specific items for these specific videos. And yeah, I just, I, I don't really wear this color, but I do it for you guys. What am I talking about? Oh my God, I need to eat. The first shade that I have is MAC Rebel. Now this is a very famous shade from MAC. A lot of people love this shade. It is totally beautiful. It is berry toned and bright and purpley and just gorgeous. Now I have a $1.99 dupe. It is not as shiny. It's a little more matte, but it is very close in color and I really love this. This is from Wet n Wild. This is 908C Sugar Plum Fairy and look how close these two are. One is 17, One's $1.99 and you could probably find it half off during a sale at Rite Aid, CVS, whatever, and get your lipstick for a buck. So if you're someone that doesn't wear these deeper shades that often and you just want something to wear once or twice and you don't want the big price commitment, then you can go the inexpensive route and I really, really love these. Not the greatest packaging, not very sturdy. You definitely want to put a balm underneath any of the Wet n Wild Mega Last lipsticks, but the pigmentation and the colors are beautiful. All right, moving on, we have another kind of purpley toned lipstick. Again, this is a fun color that might not be your everyday go to and you want to experiment with a shade like this and you want something more affordable that you can just kind of play around with. So this is Up The Amp from MAC. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is actually super flattering on. I'm so surprised by how much I like these kind of more purple berry shades. And this is from Revlon. This is called Berry Hot. It's number 660. Well, I guess this one's maybe a little bit more pink, but they are extremely, extremely close. Revlon lipsticks are great. They are very moisturizing. They are very pigmented, and I have long been a fan of them. So this is very hot, and it's very close in color. <laughs> is a dupe for MAC Twig. This is something that I remember my sister wearing in high school way back when. This color has been around forever and it is loved by so many people. This is such a beautiful shade. Again, really, really flattering on most skin tones. And I found that I, again, already own a dupe. And it's funny because this is gonna be one of those things, again, where I prefer the drugstore version more. Now you guys know I have been raving about the Sonia Kasha Grand Bazaar collection, and this is the matte lipstick in Crushed Petal. The texture of this is unreal. It is so beautiful, long wearing, way outwears twig from MAC, but is the same color. If you want it to be a little bit more glossy, again, the quick fix is to just put a clear gloss on top or a balm and then and there you go. Um, but Twig is just such a beautiful color and a lot of people love that one. And I think it's a good thing to have an option for something drugstore that is much more affordable. Yeah. You guys know I recently hauled Shy Girl and I was like flipping out that I hadn't tried it before. It took me so long to finally try this shade out and I've become more and more in love with MAC products. And I was rifling through all of my stuff and organizing because it feels like I'm constantly organizing my makeup. And I found a dupe. So this is Shy Girl right here. And then Rimmel's Nude Delight is so incredibly similar. Shy Girls may be a little bit brighter, but they have the same tone and they are 
very, very close. Very close in the color feel when you put it on your lips too. Just beautiful, beautiful color. All right, the last one I have to share with you is a dupe for Japanese maple. Now this is surprising because you wouldn't really expect them to be such close dupes, but they absolutely are. So here is Japanese maple, which is more sheer. It is a cream sheen. It's one of the more sheer kind of nudes that I have from MAC. And then the dupe that I have is from NYX and it is called, it's their high voltage lipstick and this is in the shade Mirage. And you know, all of these are going to be under $10. They are all, you know, $6.99, $7.99. It depends where in the country you are purchasing your makeup. For me here in California, it's more expensive always, but I think these are some great options and alternatives to MAC lipsticks. And these formulas are all fantastic. They are hot. I give them a thumbs up. They are Tati approved. And I hope you guys enjoyed this dupes video. Let me know if you want me to do like a specific like blush dupes, eyeshadow dupes, brand dupes. Let me know in the comments below. Leave me your requests. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys next time. Mwah.